This field guide of our wild orchids, written by Anne and Simon Harrop, has been carried in my rucksack for several years. It helps me identify the many wild orchids that we've discovered in various locations, both in the British Isles and further afield in Europe. Early June 2016 and another excursion from our motorhome along the quiet lanes following the wildflower road signs to a nature reserve in the Glaven Valley in North Norfolk. Natural Surroundings Nature Reserve is located on the Bayfield Estate on the banks of the River Glaven an unspoilt choke stream which flows through the reserve just inland from Blakeney and Clay next to the sea. Now for our surprise. The wildlife friendly gardens are owned and run by Anne and Simon Harrop, the authors of my orchid book, which has been our constant companion on our many excursions throughout the years. Hello and welcome to Natural Surroundings, situated on the Bayfield Estate in North Norfolk. This is a, a wildflower and um, British Wildlife Discovery Centre and we have a particular emphasis on plants and everything associated with plants. I've been a naturalist since I was a schoolboy and I've been working here together with my wife Anne for about 18 months now and uh, we're really working hard to try and make this a real showpiece for everything to do with British wildlife. I'm really interested in wildlife gardening and encouraging other people to garden with wildlife in mind because I think it's really important for people to take notice of what's around them and having plants in your garden also uh, I think makes people go out and look for them in, in the wild and make a connection with the wild which is uh, what we all need. It's really essential we get young people uh, interested in the countryside too and we do have some little trails around here just for people under 10 to get them involved in hunting for things. This eight acres wildlife garden and nature reserve is a peaceful, inspiring place for everyone to visit. It encourages visitors to give nature a home in their own gardens with its wildflower meadows, riverside walks and wildlife ponds. Anne Harrop's wonderful plant shop offers a wide range of native wildflowers carefully chosen for wildlife friendly gardens. So they've got chicory here. We it grows anywhere more or less. Yeah. Do you know the catch fly? Oh, I don't even know. What's this I've never heard of that before. No. The graceful do. What's this? I, I thought it was, might have been a man orchid. Man orchid? Yeah. It's got, it's, got, it's got flowers which are the sort of shape. Yeah. Oh, it's the first time we've uh, tried to grow them in pots, but we were given this by a friend who uh, has them growing in her path, and so she didn't want to tread on them. And um, we put some in pots and some down on our chalk bank. The ones on our chalk bank have just come out in flower as well, but they seem to be being eaten slowly by slugs, but so far this one's fine. Yeah. And all these, like, like is it? Yeah. between them, yeah. like that. Yeah. Okay. What's that yeah. one, then? It's a meadow buttercup. Oh, gosh! as it's important we have to keep this area of land looking as natural as possible so yes we're always looking for ideas for new wildflowers and uh, and the run-of-the-mill nurseries are full of stuff which aren't really appropriate and it's always a struggle to find sort of indigenous plants really and that's what yes, you want which there's lots here yes lovely
What do you think? Yeah, I'm that one. Okay. The Cafe in the Woods sells a wide range of products connected with wildlife gardening and signed copies of Anne and Simon's latest books can be purchased as well as homemade soups, cakes, sandwiches and freshly brewed coffee and tea. The tea garden is a lovely place just to sit and enjoy nature. Or you can enjoy the food inside, watching the action on the bird feeders. It is a real pleasure to work here. Uh, Simon and Anne have got great ideas for steadily improving this whole place and to be honest it doesn't feel like work most of the time, it's uh, just a, like a big adventure. Masses and masses of birds aren't there yeah. and wildflowers. It's just the whole atmosphere of the place is gorgeous. The wildflowers, the, the sounds of the birds and everything yeah. like that. We're just just falling in love with it, haven't we? We've seen a, a really wagtail, lovely. haven't we? And yeah. all the little chaffinches and blue tits, great tits. So yeah, well we're definitely coming again because it's absolutely beautiful. Would highly recommend it to anybody. We're really working hard to try and make this a real showpiece for everything to do with British wildlife. And having plants in your garden also I think makes people go out and look for them in, in the wild and make a connection with the wild which is uh, what we all need. <laughs>